Welcome to the Blue Cross Blue Shield performance stage here at B96 Studios with Shelly, our besties, our, our favorite group guys. of all time. You guys have no idea how long we've been waiting to meet uh, the Pentatonics. So we just we were at the show last night. I think it was one of the best concerts I've ever been to. And I'm not just saying that. I swear, because you guys are so talented. It sounds fake. Oh, I don't even know how to describe it. Yeah, it. fake is never followed in, in a good way. But in but this, you know what in I this mean? respect, like, she means it. It sounds like there's instruments, but it's you guys. It's amazing. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. I really appreciate yeah. it. It was a really fun show. Yeah, uh, unbelievable show. Uh, and what can I say? The sing-off to now, I mean... You guys have been doing some really, really big things, so congratulations. Number one, first thing I want to ask you is, um, you know, when you when you talk about acapella music, it wasn't always the most popular genre. I remember acapella bands used to come to my high school and come uh, perform and stuff, and people would kind of give it the side eye, and sometimes people would be into it. But it became really, really cool as of recent. Um, would you cite the sing-off or anything else specific that's kind of brought acapella into the fold these days? say the sing-off for sure. Pitch Perfect, definitely. The movie, yeah. The impact, yeah. Glee kind of started. Glee, yeah. like Glee. Choir is a cool thing. <laughs> yeah. Were you guys all in Glee Club going up, growing up? Well, just a ton yeah. of choirs. Show yeah. choir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We were in show choir. And show yeah. choir, yeah. And now you guys are in Pitch Perfect too. Yes. Right? Yes. <gasps> Tell me about that. Um, it was an insane experience being on a giant movie set. None of us have been in a movie before, so uh -huh. it was really cool to see them all walking around. But we basically, we represent Canada in it. Oh, okay. But that's all we can say. Wow, <laughs> that's wow. cool. A lot of people are really, really waiting for that movie. It did really well per, part one, so oh it should yeah, be, so it should be huge. Okay. Um, I got a. I don't know if this is too technical of a question, but when when it comes to acapella, you guys are a five person group, mm -hmm. and you know when we watch the sing off, you have these groups that have these massive arrangements or massive groups like the the guys from was it Yale or something like that, or yeah, oh yeah. then you got like an Afro Blue and you know it's bigger groups, but the Pentatox are five. Mm -hmm. What makes your sound so different that, that you're able to cut through amongst these groups that are these monster acapella groups with so many voices, but only five voices, and you guys are like considered the best right now? I think we lucked out with our formula. We have just a bass, a beatboxer, and then a trio on top, and we were thinking that would be enough sound, and it really worked out, and I think mainly because our rhythm section is so insane. It's just like such an intense sound that we have as a foundation that the three of us just kind of get to sing over it. Yeah, and I think also with their harmonies, it, when it really locks, it feels like you have met a lot of people. Um, and so I think they're really, really. So it's powerful. kind of like a less is more type of absolutely type totally. of thing. So so less the the, the quality of each of the tones you guys are d are using really cuts through. Is that what it is? The beatboxing. I want to talk about that, Kev. When when did you realize that you were a monster beatboxer? <laughs> a monster? You, you're a well, beatbox monster, that. dog. You you you, you gotta notice. Nice. You're very nice. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I I've always kind of beatboxed for fun. Um, and then where it kind of really started that I kind of wanted to do it more was there's a so uh, piece by um, Music Soul Child called Just Listen. Oh yeah. Yeah, you know that's. I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it's a great. It's a great album. Exactly. Great, yeah. And so I just kind of kept doing it more. Um, and then I started pairing with the cello in college. And then when I met these guys, it's kind of when I started doing it for real. It's and they taught me, I mean, a lot. I mean, I had not really listened to a lot of, like, as much pop music and, like, dance music. And then I met these guys, and they were s telling me to do all these things, like dubstep and all the stuff I hadn't heard of. And so I started just learning on the sing-off, and, you know, the rest kind of came. Well, and I have a question about your guys' process. So do you, how does it work? Do you hear a song, for example, last night you did four or five seconds. Do one of you, you hear the song, and then you come to the rest of the group, and you're like, okay, guys, let's try this. And then when you decide, okay, how does it start? How, does, how do you come to the layer? How does it all work? Well, I mean, um, I don't know. It's, we, you know, we all sit in a circle, and we kind of, it's a very collaborative thing. Uh -huh. um, you know, we'll bring a song that we're really inspired by or that we are just really obsessed with, um, and um, we'll get the foundation, the beat, and, uh, and the bass, and then we'll so have the melody. So these two start first. Avi and Kevin They'll start first. They'll start first, okay. so we can kind of hold it down. Okay. And then, um, then we have the melody, and then we'll try and work in, you know, simple harmonies at first, but after that, after we get this, the core skeleton, uh -huh. then we start filling in the, the embellishments, I guess. And I heard you won't touch a Taylor Swift song. Is this true? Or some <laughs> of them? <laughs> Is oh my this gosh, we, we do have trouble with Taylor songs. Choice, yeah. We just tried and it didn't work. We <laughs> tried like three times and we can't do it. Really? <laughs> yeah, what, what gives you trouble about the Taylor Swift? What, what is it? No it idea. Is it just you can't find the arrangement? It doesn't lock in. I think it. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it just doesn't suit our sound. Or I really have no. Yeah, idea. it's just strange because we tried like three different soloists in three different ways. You know what song, if I think about it, I mean, I don't want to give you any suggestions, but I, like that <laughs> song, uh, w Taylor, I knew I knew you were trouble. Did you guys ever try to we one? Tried I knew you were trouble. The hardest. 
That yeah. one's hard? We tried it. We tried everyone on the solo. We tried changing keys. And we were like, it wasn't really like working for us. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 So so how, what, how did this all work? How did you guys come together? I know the three of you were together first, correct? Mitch, Scott, and uh, Ka- Kirsten. Kirsten, right. Yeah. You guys were together first in your group in Texas, right? You, were, did you all go to right. school together? Yes. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. yeah, we grew up actually doing musical theater from the age of like 10. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So we've known each other for a while. Pretty much almost your whole lives, yeah. 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 <laughs> so how'd you find these two gentlemen? Um, I found Avi through a mutual friend because okay. his group had just won the ICCAs, what Pitch Perfect is based off of. Wow, it's wow. a real thing. Uh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> and his group had won from out of nowhere. And um, Kevin we found on YouTube. He had a video of himself playing cello and beatboxing and it was going really viral the week we were looking for beatboxers. Wow. And so it was honestly a fate thing. We just went to YouTube and typed in beatboxers <laughs> looking for people, and his was the first video. And um, we were blown away. And you were in Texas at the time as well? No, no, no. I was finishing my senior year, uh, senior year at Yale. At Yale. Okay, great. Mm-hmm. Wow. wow. So you guys really are like a super group of this all the <laughs> best parts <laughs> of music. It's true. The, the cello performance, we, Kevin, were... Um, we had chills up our spine. Oh, I had no yeah, idea you. that you did that. He takes the cello out. He starts playing the cello, but then he starts beatboxing while he's playing the cello. Accompanying yourself. It was just incredible. Thank you so, so much. Yeah, it. it was so cool. I, is this, when did you realize that you could do that? Um, I started it, I, I was living in China when I started figuring that out. Okay. Um, it was my s- uh, sophomore sp- uh, summer, and I was studying in a Chinese program, and one of my Chinese teachers asked me if I had ever thought about it, and I was like, absolutely not, because... You know, classical music is something that people say, doing something like that, I feel like would tarnish it. But I said, you know what, why not? And I just kind of continued doing it. So you started playing cello in China? No, 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 no. I started putting the two together. Put the two together in China. How, dumb question, but how hard is that? Is that a very tough thing to do? Well, Julio, that piece that I played yesterday, it took me a full year of work to finally feel comfortable enough to put it online. Oh. Um, so, yeah, it, it took a while. I can't tell you anything I've done consistently Ever for a year. year. Ever. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> I feel like I still work part time. <laughs> but <laughs> wow. Um, gosh. Well, also, you guys are going on tour with Kelly Clarkson. Yeah. Coming up soon. <gasps> how did that come about? And how excited are you? Oh my gosh. Very excited. Well, we, yeah. we have the same label. Okay. And <laughs> we said to the label that we are the biggest fans of her, and if she goes on tour, we want to open for her. Just kind of like jokingly. joking. Uh huh. And then. I went to her, my friend was opening for her, and I went to her show, and she came in and recognized me. I was like, I know Pentatonix. I've seen all your videos, blah, blah, blah. So then I told the label that. I was like, see, she's a fan. we got to yeah. make this happen. And so then all of a sudden, they emailed and were like, Kelly wants you all to open for her. Mm. For show. It's we almost like, like I feel like you guys could have equal bill. I mean, you guys are just two sold-out shows here in Chicago. That's huge. That's going to yeah. be so fun. It's yeah. going to be you. crazy. It's going to be a really fun tour. Wow. There will be a lot of fans from both artists. Oh my gosh! Awesome. Well, good. Anything else, Jay? You have? I, mean, I, I want to hear like some I could talk to you all day. Uh, really. I, we could talk to you guys <laughs> all day. We're streaming live on b96.com/live. Everybody knows it's PTX and also uh, Pentatonix official on uh, social media. So do send them some tweets, some Instagrams and stuff right now to let them know anything you want to know. But I think let's just hear some music because that's okay. what we love you all for. Yeah. Ooh, let's do the it. Pentatonix.